What do you think about that, McKinley? Um, maybe just have one. Ja Jacob, Jacob, you can't, you can't smoke in here, buddy. What? You, you can't smoke in here. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I definitely don't think I will do something. If you guys have kids, are you going to um, kind of force them to be right-handed yeah. so they don't have to face the difficulties that you, that you guys have encountered? Yeah. I'll just let them do what they're comfortable with. Mm. Even if that means getting bullied? Oh, you guys can prevent this bullied. if you... Uh... <laughs> Were you guys bullied for being left-handed? No. Not really. No? Um, Should have been. <laughs> okay, where's the bullying? Sometimes I gotta like do that kind of thing. Hmm. Don't mailmen drive left handed cars? Yeah. Only? So that means you wanna be a mailman? My name is Ian Gregory and I'm the founder of Lefties Are Besties. I started Lefties Are Besties about six years ago. We meet right here in this room each week. We're a kind of a support group for left-handed folks who need a place to share their feelings or just wish to meet other best-handed individuals. I myself am left-handed and have found it quite difficult to live a normal life. What righties don't understand is that for us, normal tasks can be pretty frustrating. Sake. Tessa, can I bother you for a second? I'm having trouble running on the whiteboard again. Can you help me out? Yeah, I can just do it. Okay. This happens every time. I don't get why he can't just lift his hand a little bit. He drags it across the whole board. It's so ridiculous. Do you want me to do something fancy with it? I can like arch it. Oh yeah, that could be me. Right handed bitch thinks she's so great. I swear she does it on purpose. Freaking show off. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, usually we get about like three to four lefties who come to join us each week. Sometimes we get the occasional wanderer that's just looking around for something else. Usually looking for the bathroom. This place is kind of a maze. Oh, but remember that one time we had six people. Oh my god, I almost forgot about that. Tessa and I had to share a seat because we ran out of chairs. It was chaotic. <laughs> I just hope we're better prepared this time. I think this week might bring in a lot bigger crowd than normal. I spent the better part of my weekend going around town putting flyers up. I think we handed out around 200, 250 flyers. I'm really hoping that this will help bring in more lefties. I know there are more of us out there struggling to be heard. And, you know, this is an opportunity to be part of something great. Something bigger than us all. We are stronger in numbers. I see a lot of new faces here tonight, and I cannot tell you how excited it makes me to see so many enthusiastic people up in arms about this important issue and are actually motivated to do something about it. Yeah. All right, welcome to the movement of the left, or as I like to call it, lefties or besties. <laughs> All right, so issues I have for us tonight. Ambidextrous, whose side are they really on? How does the left-handed child stars, where are they now? And how to survive in a right-handed world. Excuse me, yeah, are, are we supposed uh, to be talking about, you know, the more important issues like the orange problem, how Trump's flushing this country down the drain? What about yeah. stricter gun laws? Uh, what about equality? Come on, uh, man. Okay, uh, I think there's been some kind of mistake. This isn't that kind of left meeting. We, uh, we're a meet group for left-handed individuals. We talk about left-handed problems, not left wing oh, issues. Uh, I thought we were going to talk about abortion bombers. This is a serious issue too. Uh, 
All right. Cool. Growing up, like people were just like, "Oh, why are you just right-handed? Like, just have more discipline. Like, you're just kind of lazy." Yeah, another thing that like really sucked about being left-handed growing up, I noticed was uh, learning how to like shake people's hands. Yeah, I get where it looks all the time. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm lefty and using my hand to write, but I use my right hand and right foot for a lot of like sports. It's like, oh, you hammer right-handed. I was like, oh no, I just have been hammering the past like five minutes right-handed. Like, it's gonna switch off. Are your parents okay with you being left-handed? I didn't tell them until I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was like, yeah, when I was in Catholic school, they used to like tie people's hands behind their backs and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> back in the day. No, yeah, they smacked on the wrist. Yeah, they'd, tie, they'd just tie your left hand behind your back and they'd smack you on the, the, uh, the devil's hand. The devil's yeah. hand. Yeah. Well, my grandmother, like, uh, she used to like slap my hand if I wrote with the, with the left hand. And then, my mom, and then my mom was like, my mom told her that, like she wants me to be left handed and my grandmother hated it. So I'm like the only one in my family. That's right. My dad is left handed. My I'm actually a triplet and my I'm left handed. The middle one is actually ambidextrous and the first one is right handed. I have a uh, left handed uncle who is the only one in my family who's left handed and he uh, he actually taught me how to tie my shoes because I guess tying it is different with your left hand. I, I know my aunt's left handed just because I noticed like a couple years ago we always gravitate towards the left side of the table and it was like always kind of awkward on people like got the left side of the table. And then I realized when she picked up her fork, it's like, oh, you're left handed too, this is great. And now I have to sit next to you so I don't bump arms with you. Yeah. I don't really understand like our problems. Like, we're sorry, we took it last. <laughs> I think people just like think you're being negligent. It's like, it's like, what are you doing? Like, this is your water dog. This is like the social norm. Yeah. <laughs> Most people are left handed, no Barack Obama's left handed. And uh, it's kind of like the token left handed person that people seem to like appreciate. I was like, yeah, 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 Jimmy uh, Hendrix. Jimmy Faye. Especially because like most people, uh, like when they play guitar, they like learn on the right handed guitar. He like strung the strings like backwards in order to like be a left handed guitar player. My dad taught me how to play guitar and he's left handed and he taught me how to play it on a right handed guitar because he thought like, I don't know, right handed guitars are more accessible and it's easier to play. Right handed desks. Desks. But like tiny ones where you have to like yeah. turn your entire body to write. The Sucks. The pencil mark on your hand like yep. after writing a lot. Pen marks too. Just, yeah, mm -hmm. unable to write with yeah. pencil. You don't know. <laughs> Dry erase boards are awful to write on. Uh, all bits are off with the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> There's like one left-handed desk. I know. Yeah. And it's always a right-handed right person who yeah. sits there. It's like, yeah. dude, why? I, I feel like OSU could have more left-handed desks. I did this desk project actually a freshman year about how, um, like how many left-handed desks were at OSU and if it like matched the like two, I think it's like 10% of the U.S. is left-handed or something. And it's like less than 1% of the desks at OSU are left-handed mm -hmm. and most of the buildings don't even have them. Mm -hmm. so. I think it, it kind of makes sense that left-handed products are more expensive because only 10% of people want them, but it does seem stupid that it should cost more considering all you have to do is like flip it yeah. in production. Or like, they didn't have left-handed scissors. Mm -hmm. That's why I just learned how to cut right-handed. So like every time I pick up a pair of scissors, right, I know that like I do everything else motor skills wise with my left hand, but I cut with my right hand because that was like the only yeah. option of like resources you available. Maybe you have like left-handed notebooks available the bookstore. Jacob, uh, how do you think OSU can better accommodate you and your uh, disability? My disability, I, I wouldn't say being, it's a disability. Being left-handed? I mean, I wouldn't say it's, I think I do things just as good as everyone else does. So. I don't know, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a disability. Maybe like a, like a weird little quirk, but I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a disability. You know, 10% you know, of the population is uh, disabled. You know, disabled? They're left-handed. This is dumb, dude. I don't know, like, what this is about. I, I think I'm perfectly normal. I don't think. I, I didn't mean to offend you, Jacob, but I mean it's just it's just the facts. Facts. All right. Well, you can take your facts and uh, you can make your your dumb little video. Uh, so are we still getting paid for this?